had a fire in downtown Augusta this morning, and that got me to thinking about the story of Big Steve. For those of you who don't know, Big Steve was the name of the bell that used to sit atop the fire observation tower at Green and 8th Streets back in the 1800s. Big Steve was probably inspired by London's Big Ben. It was named to honor Stephen Hurd, its chief sponsor on the Augusta City Council. Construction of the bell tower was criticized by some as a costly mistake, but it was built anyway because that's what cities sometimes do. Its idea was simple. A night watchman would climb the tower each evening and look over our slumbering city. If he spotted a fire, a dangerous deal in those days, he'd ring the bell. Well, Big Steve arrived in town on May 13, 1860, and everyone was excited. They even gave the bell a parade, led by the fireman's band. Few had ever seen a bell so big, and a reporter for the Chronicle wrote, it is a monster and looks as if it might speak in thunderous tones. But looks are sometimes deceiving, and I'll explain why when we get back. The problem with Big Steve wasn't its size, it was its sound. Instead of ringing like a bell should, it clanked. Well, they brought in an expert to fix it, and unfortunately, he broke the bell. Well, they had to go get another bell. It was smaller and, and a lot more easier to use. Maybe you could think of it as Little Steve. But soon people began to complain that its sound wasn't loud enough and nobody could hear the fire alarms. By 1887, an electric fire system was in place for most of our town and the bell was no longer needed. It was sold to a company in St. Louis in 1894. That's not to say it was a total loss. The construction of the big tower with its big bell inspired a poem sent to the Augusta Chronicle. Of all the humbugs now extant on this side of the Atlantic, there's none that knows but will declare Big Steve's the most gigantic. Tis true he cost our city a mighty heap of dollars, but what's the use? He never rings till everybody hollers. Big Steve, Augusta's famous bell, has been gone more than a century. The people still talk about it, talk about it fondly. That means to me that perhaps something doesn't have to be a success to be remembered.